The Chargers are off to a strong start for the season, but there is a lot of talk about whether it may be the last go-around for the Bolts at Qualcomm Stadium. Joining us now to answer questions about the team's future in San Diego is Chargers General Counsel Mark Fabiani. Thank you for joining us. My pleasure. Thank you. We kind of want to go over public statements. The team has said for many years you want to stay in San Diego <laughs> County. Absolutely. We've been at this six years now. And recently you've said that there that there is hope that this can happen, but we need significant progress by spring of 09 as we, as you, the team, are able to leave and you're having to make decisions. So what defines significant progress? Well, Dean Spanos and his entire family have been very patient throughout this process. As I mentioned, six years, more than $10 million has been spent. Uh, but we're down really to our last option, and that's in Chula Vista. And so we need to know at some point, and we've never put a deadline out there, and we're certainly not doing it now, but we do need to know at some point whether this is something that can happen or not. So there's no deadline, but you'd like to think that sometime in 2009 you'd get some idea about whether you're going to be able to proceed in Chula Vista or not, and that's our goal. And people in the community have heard a lot about the Chula Vista Bayfront Absolutely. As, as being a possibility, but it has a power plant there. It would be no easy feat then to have a Charger Stadium there. What would it take? to make it the next future home for the Chargers? Two big things. One, the state allowing that power plant to be torn down. Right now, that power plant is used when there is a peak demand for power. The state would have to agree that that power plant can be torn down. There are a lot of people working to make that happen, but it hasn't happened yet. And second, the Gaylord project, which is something that the city of Chula Vista cares about very much, that has to move forward so that we can then get next in line and that's up very much up in the air with the city and the port district so two big things they're both out of our control it's frustrating but again we've been patient and we're going to continue to try to get it done so I've noticed you when you said that's our only <laughs> real option you didn't mention the 10th Avenue marine terminal option that may be on the November it's ballot inter interesting if voters want it the Chargers have no interest well if voters were to pass that in November absolutely would take a look at it it's an interesting idea the notion that you could create a hundred acres of usable land and keep the port functions and all of those jobs intact it's a very interesting idea but a lot of things have to happen the voters have to vote for it the port commission has to agree and then things have to move forward but if all of those things happen, we'd take a hard look at it, absolutely. But that's in the realm of the uh, theoretical at this point. Well, most San Diegans are also aware that up north, developer Ed Roski yes. is all set. He has his environmental impact report, and he has the land for an L.A. stadium. So far, it seems the Chargers have told him, wait, we want to make a deal in San Diego. But when should we be worried that the Chargers <laughs> may go to L.A.? Well, Ed Roski is a very credible person. He also happens to be a friend of Dean Spanos and the Spanos family. We have talked to Ed. We've said this publicly about what he's up to. He's got a very interesting proposal as well. And as you said, he's got a lot going for him. He controls the land. He has his environmental work done. Uh, but we've told him the same thing we tell everybody else. And just before I drove over here today, I got a call from someone who has some land in Los Angeles they wanted to talk us, to us about. And we tell him the same thing. Thanks, but no thanks. We're focused exclusively here in San Diego. Now, when will that end I can't I'm not a fortune teller I can't tell you at some point though it has to end because you can't continue to spend time and money on a project that's not going anywhere so I would guess that we're closer to the end of this process than we are to the beginning six years into it but when that end is I can't tell you and I hope the end is we find a solution here in San Diego County somewhere all right you've said that many times Mark Fabiani we appreciate your time this my afternoon. pleasure general counsel with the San Diego Church